8.4.4 Creating Backups in Vista Let's look at using backups to protect your system and files. Windows Backup in Vista has been completely redesigned from previous versions. You use NT Backup on Windows 2000 and Windows XP, but in Windows Vista and Windows 7, you'll use the Windows Backup Utility. To run the Backup Utility, go to Start, All Programs, Maintenance, and Backup to Restore Center. There are two main tasks that you can perform. You can back up files or your entire computer, or you can restore files or your entire computer. We'll look at backing up files and the computer. Let's start with Complete PC Backup and Restore. The Complete PC Backup and Restore creates an image of your entire computer, which can be used to recover from a hardware failure. To create this backup, I'll simply click Backup Computer. The first step is to select where to save the backups. In this case, I've added a hard disk that is devoted completely to system backups, and I can back up my system to that hard disk. I can also back up to one or more DVDs. Be aware that if I choose the DVD option, I will need to be here during the entire backup time to change the DVDs that are needed. Although the title was Complete PC Backup, you actually have the option of including or excluding specific volumes within your backup. Notice that the C volume is automatically selected and cannot be deselected. This is because it contains the system files that Windows needs to start. Whenever you do a complete PC backup, the system volume is always included in that backup. However, you can include or exclude additional volumes on your system. So if you happen to, for instance, exclude the additional volumes from your backup, you're not actually doing a complete PC backup. You're just doing a backup of the system volume. In this case, I'll just backup everything. And that's it. I will be backing up to the G drive, and I will be backing up data on all three volumes. And then we start the backup. So to summarize, a complete PC backup backs up the system volume and any other volumes you select. All data on the volumes you select will be backed up. You cannot selectively choose the type of data to back up or individual files. You can back up to a hard disk or a DVD. And be aware that you can only back up NTFS volumes. Volumes that are formatted with FAT32 or another file system will not be included in the complete PC backup. Okay, and the backup's completed successfully. If I go to my computer, I can go to the G drive, and I can actually see a folder for my Windows image backup. Inside this folder is the compressed file for this backup. Now let's look at using backup to backup files and folders. Again, I can use a hard drive for my backup, or the CD drive, or I can also back up to a network location. This would save the backup to a shared folder on the network. Let me get just save my backups to the backup volume that I have created. And again, I select the volumes that I want to include within the backup. Notice the system volume is automatically selected and cannot be excluded from this backup. And I'll include all other volumes within the backup. When I do a file and folder backup, I can also choose the file types to back up. Notice some restrictions on the files that are backed up. Only files on NTFS disk can be backed up. System files, executable files, and temporary files will not be backed up. So in other words, only these types of files are being included in the backup. So even though I selected the system disk, the actual system files are not being backed up. Only the user files that are of these file types that exist on that system volume. Let's just back up pictures and documents. And we'll choose next. When I create a file backup, I'm actually scheduling a backup that will run on a periodic basis. For example, I can run the backup daily, weekly, or monthly. The period of time I use depends on how often the files change. If files don't change very often, weekly might be sufficient to add protection for most of my files. If I change files regularly on this computer, I might want to perform the backup daily. 
When I choose weekly, I can choose the day of the week to perform the backup as well as the time of when to start the backup. And notice that because this is my first backup, Windows will create a new full backup now. Let's save the settings and start the backup. So to summarize, when I'm using a file backup, the files and folders that are actually backed up are based on the file categories that I choose. All of the file types that I choose are backed up. I cannot selectively back up individual files, only all files of a certain type. This has changed in Windows 7. In Windows 7, I will have the ability to manually select folders and files that I want to back up. For a file backup, I can back up to CD or DVD, hard disk, or a network location. Remember that with a complete PC backup, I could not choose a network location. Only files on NTFS volumes are backed up, and the backup is scheduled. Additional backups will run at the scheduled time. And you should also be aware that additional backups only save the changes that have occurred since this original full backup. So for instance, if I save one additional file, when the backup runs, it will save only that one file that has changed. It does not resave the entire group of files again. Now that I've created an initial backup, I can come back and change the settings. For example, changing the backup location, the volumes, the file types, as well as the schedule. I can turn off automatic backup, or I can also create an additional backup immediately. So that's using the backup utility in Windows Vista. The complete PC backup and restore backs up your entire system all data on all volumes that you choose, whereas the file and folder backup backs up only the data that matches the file types that you select on the volumes that you select. Eight point four point six Rest using restore points. In this demonstration, we'll look at using System Restore to recover your computer when you have problems. The first step to using System Restore is to create regular restore points before you experience a problem. To configure System Restore, let's go to the Start menu, I'll right-click Computer, and then choose Properties. And then from here on the left-hand side, I'll use the System Protection link. And this opens System Properties with the System Protection settings. As you can see, I currently have System Restore enabled for the C drive, and I have a recent restore point that was taken earlier. By default, System Restore is configured and enabled on the system drive, and it's configured to take periodic restore points on a regular schedule. You can use these restore points to restore your system to a previous point in time, or you can take a restore point immediately before you take actions that modify the configuration of your system.